Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Now, today I will show you how to make this abstract cover art. In the first part of the video, I will explain you how to create the abstract shape and the animation with Cinema 4D. In the bonus part of the video, I will show you how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects. Let's get started arties. First you create a sphere. Then increase the number of segments to 100. Then select subdivision surface and place the sphere under it. Then select the displacer from the top of the bar. Increase height to 50 cm. This value determines how high the sphere should be deformed. Then go to the submenu shading and select noise under shader. Double click on the image. Under Noise select VL Noise and under Space select UV, 2D. So that the sphere is animated, you have to enter a value at animation speed. I want the sphere to transform slowly, so I choose the value 0.2. Now we come to the further animation, as you can see, first you see a smooth sphere, which will liquefy later on. For this we first extend the animation to 5 seconds. Under Displacer there is a slider called Strength, that decides how much the sphere should be deformed. We set the animation slider to the beginning of the animation, set the strength value to 0% and set a keyframe. Then we move the animation slider to the end of the animation and set strength to 100%. Now we come to the material, double click to create a new material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. Set the roughness value to 20%. The first material is ready, you can drag it onto the sphere. Now select sky in the bar above. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material. Drag it onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under Texture you can insert a picture of your choice. The graphic I link you in the caption. To see a stronger color change in the sphere, I also animate the sky. Go to the coordinates under Sky. Set a keyframe at Rotation H at the beginning of the animation. Move the animation slider to the end of the animation, set Rotation H to 360 degrees and add another keyframe. Cinema 4D always automatically creates a Belsiar curve animation, that means it is slow at the beginning, faster in the middle and slow again at the end. But we want the animation to run in the same speed all the time. For this we go to Window in the top bar, then Timeline, F Curve. There we select both curves one after the other and press the icon. The icon changes our curves into a linear flow. You can now insert a plane and insert the sky background, I get my graphics from Pexels, there you will find many photos that you can use license free, I add you the link in the caption, I will edit my animation with Adobe After Effects, so I render it with a transparent background. Now we come to the render settings. Press the button with the cog wheel on the top of the bar. Under render or choose physical. Choose a suitable format and select frame range all frames. So that we don't see the sky when rendering, we have to set the following three hooks under save. That's it, the animation is ready to render, to get the file with a transparent background later, we have to save it as a PNG file. In the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects.
Double-click the finished PNG sequence and paste it into Adobe After Effects. It can happen that the graphic is displayed darker than it actually is, this is due to the gamma value. To fix this problem, search for color and gamma conversion in the effects window. Under gamma conversion select linear to sRGB. Then look for the effect hue slash saturation. Under master saturation select the value 40. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 20%. Finally we look for the effect edge glow. At edge detect select 250. Now on the sky background, you can find the link in the caption. As you can see, the colors don't match. Search here again for hue slash saturation. With a wheel you can change the colors. 349 degrees should fit. Additionally I increase the saturation by 10%. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 25%. Now the white tones of the background do not match the animation yet. So we select the lower sky level. Now we search for the effect selective color and select the color white. We increase the yellow value for the white color by 100% and darken it a bit by setting black to 31. Now I work with overlays. First I put a star animation behind the animation and set the blending mode to screen. Now I choose a smoke animation. I set it to the top and select the blending mode lighten. The smoke is also too white. So we look for the effect tint. There we choose for white a light tone from the background. Press the T key and set the opacity to 71%. T, now we make a prefect loop out of the animation. For this we press in the plane window command plus A and then we click with the right mouse button and select pre-compose. Then we press the right mouse button in the preview window and select composition settings. There we increase the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. Right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. Now the composition runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready. Now you can add some more overlays, like me some stickers and a destroy CD cover overlay. You can find the whole project file on Patreon, you find the link in the caption, well done Arties, thanks for the positive feedback, from 10,000 followers I will get a camera and a mic, at the moment I don't earn any money with all this yet, therefore I am happy about every support. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1 to 2 tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.